system and today I want to show you an Xcode project which involves alerts let's press single view application next and name it as alerts you can name it as anything you want press next and create it let's jump into the main dot storyboard what we are trying to build is we are gonna build a button and a US switch so when you are when you press a button it should pop in pop up an alert pretty much similarly when you on and off a switch it should pop up some alerts so let's drag and drop the button press and hold shift and just drag it so that it drags and expands equally from all the sides I would like to give it a color of yellow kind of greenish and add missing constraints also drag and drop a switch from our menu add missing constraints and let's jump into our standard editor I mean the assistant editor and so you can see better all right let's control click and drag from the button to our view controller dot swift as this is an action select an action and just name it as alert action you can name anything you want and also control click and drag from the switch to our view controller dot swift this is also an action so give it as alert switch So you would also name given an outlet for this switch. All right, so let's go to our view controller dot swift, and now we need to set up for the alert action. So let's go to the button first. So when we click a button, we need to get an alert. So for that we need to build a function. Let's build up a function, all right? All right. So let's function set up alert. All right. For setting up this alert, we need two of them. One is alert controller and one is alert action. So let's set up the alert controller first. Alert controller. This is an UI alert controller. Of we need to set a tidal message and a type of and the style of alert we need. So it's a tidal. We can give anything you want. I would like to give a welcome boss, and I would like to give a message like this is a testing. And I would like to style alert as alert. Now we need to set up the alert action. This is an UI alert action of, we need to give the title as well for this. This is the close action, what we need to do after displaying an alert. So I would like to give an alert of close and the type of action would be cancel, handler would be nil for now. So we have a design the alert controller and the alert action all we need to do is add the action to the alert controller so alert controller dot add actions of the alert action so all we need to do is present it to a controller self dot present the view controller view controller is the alert controller I'm sorry alert controller Animated value is a boolean, so it should be true and the completion will be nil for now. All right, this is pretty much we need to do for setting up this alert. All we need to do is just call it in the action. All right, we call the function and let's build and run this and see what we get.
so we got the simulator on and here's a button press it yeah welcome balls this is the testing and close it and now the second one is the switch so let's jump onto the switch first of all we need to create there are two options one is on and one is off so we need to create an if condition for that so if the switch the outlet we created at the top of it this one dot is on then we need to display alert so let's just copy this and paste it if you want you can just change the title the message and the type of things you want I would like to set up a different alert here I would like to give it an action sheet let's see how it displays I just want to play around on this so if the switch is on I want to display this or else there is another condition if the switch is off so then you want to display something else welcome boss this is not a testing I would like to display this as an action one as well right so now let's let's build and run this all right here is our switch let's off it yeah, here's a alert. Welcome boss. This is not a testing. Just close it and just switch it on. And welcome boss. This is a testing. Close it. That's it. There you have it. Thank you for watching.